Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Henry Cejudo and Francis Ngannou. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice. Good. Keep the pressure on him. You're doing great here. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick, lands. Oh. Oh. Right there, the second go of the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement for that uppercut. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, just a killer jab there from Francis Ngannou. I don't know about you fighting this guy, man. Aren't you coaching high school wrestling yeah, I'm instead or something? Gilroy Mustang. When they say Ngannou, I say, I got to turn him to the weekend. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Oh, he hurt him bad with the jab. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the force behind that leg. Oh, and he caught the kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Henry Cejudo. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he can... Oh. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Big kick lands. Oh! Big leg kick lands. Another big leg kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so... Oh! oh, he might be out. Round two coming up next. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. All right, DC, round two just about to get underway. Ready, Henry Cejudo Ready. and Francis Ngannou. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Nice punch there by the predator, Francis Ngannou. Landed a good uppercut there. on his first test in elementary school. Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have now landed for Henry Cejudo. And landing at a 54% clip tonight against Francis Ngannou. 
Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Back to the feet now. Do you believe it? He's done, he's done. What a fight. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So a big win for him here tonight, and a big statement made with that TKO. Let's see how the promotion chooses to matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Henry, the messenger to Hoover.